Hey everyone, this is Rosemary from The Unfinished Lesson. Today we're going to look at how to create an invitation using Canva. Once we open the app, there are design options at the top of the screen. We're going to scroll to the right and we're going to choose Invitation today. Once it's open, I'm going to look at the Invitation Untitled Design and I'm going to select that and then delete it. I want to change the name of the design to recital invitation. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit my blue done button. At this point, I can start looking at designs on the left hand of the screen. So once I've chosen the one I want, I tap on the design and it appears in the middle there. I like the design, but I'm not a fan of the wording. So I'm going to select Jesse's 20th and then I'm going to double tap in order to select the text within it. And at this point, I can change it to Spring Recital. Then I press the keyboard button on the bottom right and select the next text box and do the same thing. This time, I'm only going to select part of the text within the box because I don't want to change all of it out. hit the back button and then I can type in the date that I want so May 19th then I select the name of the restaurant and I change that out for recital venue at the bottom right hand corner there's a keyboard with a down arrow when I press that it's going to take me back to my main screen I think the CU there is a little bit small, so I'm going to select that and then double tap it to bring open my keyboard. And just above the keyboard, there are two A's, one small and one big. I'm going to press the big one to bring it up and then close off my keyboard again. Overall, I'm starting to really like the way this is looking, but it seems to be missing something. I think that we need something at the top. So I'm going to select May 19th and copy it and then holding it, I'm going to move it to the top so that I can change the wording here. By double tapping it, I've selected all of it and then I can change the wording to join us at our, I'm going to hit that keyboard on the bottom right to close this out. And then it says join us at our spring recital, May 19th. Um, see you there. I think this is looking pretty good. When I'm deciding what else I'm going to do with this though, then we start looking at colors and sizes and how everything looks. In this case, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be changing out the color. So at the, uh, we've selected the main box and when we press the white circle, it opens this up and there's a circle that has different colors. When I move my finger on that circle, it gives me different options in terms of what colors I might want. And then I can use the slide at the bottom in order to change it as well. And so I can play with that until I get the one that I like. In this case, I'm starting to like how the flowers really pop when I go a bit darker. However, with the change, I'm looking at see you there and decided I want to change it some more. Double tap on it and I'm going to change the font type. So just above the keyboard to the left, it said playlist script. When I tapped on that, it gives me other options for fonts. I want something that's still cursive, but not quite as cursive as that one is. And then I can change the size, which is just to the right of that. Um, sometimes you can add bold or italics. In this case, you can't with this font type, but you can also change the color by tapping on that and then the plus sign. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Once I've decided on the color I like, I can also change the alignment left, center, or right. In this case, I'm going to leave it center. And when I'm done, I hit click the keyboard on the bottom right. 
overall, this is starting to look really good. And I think that my clients would really like it if they got it in the mail. So the last thing for us to do is to take a look at the download function. So you'll notice it's up on our upper right corner, download. And we're going to end up pressing that. And we can download it as an image or a PDF. If you're going to be printing this, you definitely want to download as a PDF. And so you click on that. And once it is finished downloading, if it's your computer, it'll ask you where on the computer. And if it's on your iPad, you can choose to print it directly, save it to files, mail it, even, you know, add it to your Google Drive or wherever you would like. And once you've selected it, you go back to the main screen. If you would like to save it as an image, we're going to go into download again, tap to clear the downloads just to make sure there's no issues. If you've saved it to your computer or your iPad, it won't go away. And we're gonna download an image. This way we can use it for social media or um, any other online things. This opens up your design and on the top right hand corner, you can share it or save it to your images or even upload it into Facebook or other social media sources. And when you're done, you click on the done button on the far left. I hope this shows how easy it is to create a print resource or a print uh, material. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. This is part of a video series for a guest post that I did on timtopham.com. I'll ensure a link to that article is in the um, box below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Visit me at theunfinishedlesson.com for more ideas. Thanks.